Hi everyone, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today I'm going to be making one of my favorite seafood appetizers and it is the Japanese baked mussels with spicy dynamite sauce. I love making these at home because they're so simple to make and cheap too. First, we'll need some green mussels on the half shell. And I got this box here at the Asian market. They are frozen, so we'll need to thaw them and rinse them under some cold water. I just pulled this bag of mussels out from this box. And you can see here that there's quite a few. So um, not a bad price, only six or seven dollars and you get this money. Next, we're going to detach the mussel from its shell and you just basically pull it right off just simple as that and then place the shell over here on a baking pan lined with some aluminum foil and if you want you can chop the mussels into um, smaller pieces or leave them whole which I'm going to leave them whole because that's how I like to eat them and we're going to do some more just shake off any of the excess water and then just pull the meat right off again. See like that? Very easy. And then place this one next to that. And I'll do a few more. I'm not going to do them all. Right now it's my lunch. And I'm home alone. So I'm just going to do a few for myself. And I'll make the rest later tonight for dinner. Just bring them right over here. And I think I'll do one more. And just like that. Like I said, shake off any of the excess water. Bring it over here. And now we can go ahead and make the dynamite sauce. We'll set this aside. The dynamite sauce is usually made with um, Japanese mayonnaise. But if you can't find it for some reason or, you know, you don't feel like making a trip to the Asian market, just go ahead and use American mayonnaise like Best Foods. It's fine. And we'll need some sriracha hot sauce. The next ingredient here is optional, which is some um, mazago. I have squeezed some of the Japanese mayo into this bowl here, and I'm going to add some sriracha. You can add as much as you like. Um, if you like it spicier, go ahead and add more. If you don't like it um, as spicy, then add less. So go ahead and give it a good stir. See how it's going to change color to almost like... Um, like an orangey salmon color. <laughs> if it's not spicy enough, go ahead and add more sriracha. If it's too spicy, then add more mayo. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Mmm, that's good. So I'm good with the sauce. Now I'm going to add some of the mazago. And like I said, this is optional. If you just want to use the mayo and sriracha, that's fine. You don't need to add this. Alright, let's go ahead and add this in with the mayo. And just mix everything until it's all incorporated. Go ahead and preheat your oven. Okay, let's spoon some of the dynamite sauce onto the mussels. And you want to completely cover them with the dynamite sauce. I got two more to go. And there we have it, these are done. Let's go ahead and place them in the oven um, until they are golden brown. My mussels are in the oven. Uh, be sure to keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. I'm going to take the baking pan and rotate it so that it can um, brown evenly. Okay, they should be ready, so let's go ahead and take them out of the oven. Looks like. Let's put them up here. And there you have it guys, simple as that. These are all done. I have topped these with some mazago, but they are optional. You can just eat them plain if you like. Some other items that you can um, top these with are some chopped green onions, shredded cheddar cheese, and panko breadcrumbs. So just play around with them and then you can decide on what you like to garnish your um, mussels with. I don't know about you all, but whenever I eat these baked mussels, I like to give it a squeeze of lemon. Just like that. Yum. Mm -mm. This is how I eat my baked mussels. Delicious. 
Here's a second plate of mussels. Uh, this time I had broiled them because I wanted to show you that you can either bake or broil the mussels. Uh, these uh, were broiled for about two minutes. So uh, I wanted to show you the difference. You can see that when you broil them, they'll become more um, golden brown. And you can choose um, whichever way you want to cook them. Okay guys, my kids are home from school, so I made this plate of baked mussels for them. And you can see here that I had chopped the meat into smaller pieces, which will make it easier for them to eat. And I also did not add the mazago. It's just the mixture of um, Japanese mayo and the sriracha. I just wanted to show you um, that you can make them this way as well. Or if you want, you can leave the mussel whole. So thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel as I post new videos every week. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you later alligator. Bye!